Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to the channel, um, all of you, including especially my sisters. I wanted to come to you all before you all with another video of encouragement. Um, what I want to talk about is um, <laughs> how the new age, first of all, I want to talk about the new age way of thinking, the new age of how uh, some men, not all, how they think versus how the men from the old school back in the days think. The new age men, I'm just gonna put it out there because you know I'm a chick, I don't bite my tongue about anything. You know, they want you to kiss their tails. They want you to kiss their tails. They want you to chase after them. They want you to spend your money on them. They want you to buy them things. They want you to rescue them. They want you to do this, that, and the third. And see, what these types of people fail to realize is that when they deal with people that are from the old school, we don't do stuff like that we don't roll like that we don't kiss nobody's tail we don't chase nobody we don't buy nobody nothing and you daggone sure won't spend our money unless we spend in yours in return and i just think that um you know times have really changed as opposed to how they were especially in many of our grandparents day when the man was the single breadwinner and you know a lot of our uh grandmothers and great great grandmothers they were homemakers you know and the, the men brought home the bread and they paid the bills and took care and fed their families and you know it, it, and also you know if there were other children or families in the neighborhood you know people merged together and they helped and fed each other but you know we live in a different world now where these um so-called males i hear they don't feel like they have to do anything for a woman they have tried to reverse the roles and now they want the role of the woman and want the woman to take their role so meaning they don't feel that they have to win your affection they feel like you need to win their affection they have put themselves on a pedestal and i want you all to know that this is the order of satan that this way of thinking, this new age of thinking, the way a lot, a lot of these males, not all of them, but the, their way of thinking, it is the mentality of Satan. Now, I first and foremost, I am not against women being independent and bringing home the bread and, you know, having their own houses and businesses and things of that nature. But I'm talking about the original order was for the man to take the lead. God made the man the head and um, the man is supposed to take care of the woman. Now, I'm not saying you should put yourself in a position where you want a man or need a man to take care of you. I'm talking about how God Almighty set up his order. So I don't care what the world has to say about, oh, where's well, this way and it's that way. I don't care how it is in the world. I'm talking about what father a and that is that the man is supposed to be the head and I want you to know that you know in this new age way of thinking that a lot of these males out here they may have that thing between their legs but they're not men and they don't think like men either because any man out there who wants a woman to take care of him he is not a man any man out there that does not pursue a woman he is not a man any man out there that, that does not have the mentality of how father god says a male should conduct himself that is not a man that is a male with a male organ between his legs that can reproduce but he ain't of no use okay and i want you ladies out there you know i know it's difficult out there because the pickings are few father god knows exactly what's on this planet he knows there's nothing down here and another thing i want to say because i'm not going to bite my tongue for a long time there were women out there you know you're out there you you are getting your degrees and you have your careers and things and you're saying oh now i have everything in order and the only thing that's missing is a is a good man or whatever and you you've been waiting on the lord to send this man this perfect man this prince charming let me tell you something have you ever taken into consideration that maybe god almighty has not sent you anybody because there's nobody out here to send now i know a lot of people may argue that and they may say oh it's some good men out here and da, 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 da. well then why aren't they with the good women i mean come on now this is one planet you understand it's one planet it's big but it ain't that big you know what i'm saying i think that um uh, god is looking into people's hearts and he sees you know what you might have this together and that together but i'm not going to send something toxic to one of my daughters or one of my sons just because they feel the need to have a mate because i put that desire in them you know what i'm saying so i feel like a lot of times that um god has not sent anybody to you all out there because right now there's nobody to send i said right now because we all know god can save anybody he can transform people you know by the renewing of their minds but if there's nothing out here to send if jesus has searched the world over and said i don't see nothing that qualify for you then he's not going to send you no jump just for the sake of satisfying what you feel is your need you understand what i'm saying so you ladies, I'm telling you, you need to get in touch with Father God and you need to develop your close relationship with Father God, okay? That's what you're gonna have to do because we know that the pickings are few and we know that a lot of these males out here, they want you to kiss their tail. 
They want you to think they fine. They want you to think they good looking. Whereas back in the day, it was about the woman. It wasn't about the man. You know, and as I think I stated in one of my other videos, I heard a preacher say something about, he made a reference to how men used to put women on pedestals and things of that nature, you know, in, in his day. You understand? And But, you know, we don't live in that kind of world now. So for a woman who has the mentality of a woman and you know how you're supposed to be treated, you're not going to really be able to mix and mingle too much with this new age uh, type of male out here. Because for one thing, they want you to kiss their tail. And if you are a real woman, you're not going to do it. They want you to chase them. If you are a real woman, you're not going to do it. They're the ones walking around with the attitude like, oh, you know, kiss my behind. I'm the one that's golden. Well, I know the devil to be a liar. I know the devil to be a liar. So I just want you sisters out there, you know, you just keep your self-esteem up and don't be kissing these men's tail. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just trying to give you some advice because you know what? Ain't nobody God Almighty but God Almighty. You understand what I'm saying? You don't let nobody be your God but God. And when and if the time is right for you to, you know, come across the path of your God or dang spouse, then you will come across his path. But you know what? God can only send what's down here. Okay? Let's just keep it real, ladies. He can only send what is down here. You know, and if, if he looks down here and all he sees is a bunch of liars and deceivers and people that, you know, they'll do good for the first month or two, but eventually they're going to commit adultery. Don't think that God is going to, you know, send deliberately send you something toxic. OK, God is a protector. He's about protecting you, not putting you forth to be eaten by wolves. You understand? Because that's what we have down here. A pack of wolves, a generation of vipers. But for you ladies out there, I'm telling you, you do not have to kiss a man's behind. You do not have to kiss a man's behind. You don't have to chase him because, you know, my sisters, you know, I don't know about you all, but it, it's not a man on the face of this planet whose tail I'm going to kiss. I'm not going to kiss their tail. I'm not going to chase them. I'm not going to spend my money on them unless they spending something on me. I'm not going to go any further than what they go because I got a tit for tat attitude. So with that attitude that I have, maybe, you know, uh, for those of you that had a type of attitude, maybe... <laughs> You know what? I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to lay that one to rest. You know why? Because to me, it's a matter of self-respect. It's a matter of how you view yourself as a woman, as a person, and as who you know that you are. You know, and a lot of these men, you know, uh, these new age males, they are very spiteful. You know, so they will or won't do certain things to try to get a reaction out of you. You know, especially the ones that, you know, uh, out here, you know, they try to be players and they got a lot of women, a uh, lot of whores. I ain't going to say women because real women don't chase men. A lot of whores, desperate whores out here chasing him, you know, probably don't even really want him. They just want what's between his legs. So now what's between his legs has made him think he a god, you know. And um, those types of males, they don't like females that don't chase them. They don't like females that don't make a big deal out of them, don't make a big deal out of what's between their legs or whatever. Because, you know, you can get that anywhere. Let's just keep it real, my sisters. You know, we can get that anywhere if we want it, if we really want it. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, come on now. This planet is full of men, okay? So anyway... You know, and a lot of these, you know, they just have the mentality that, oh, you know, chase me down. I'm this, that, and the third. No, uh-uh, no. No, it won't happen with me. I don't know how you ladies out there roll, but I know I'm, I would never chase a man down. Now, I'm not talking about you ladies out there that are already in relationships and you're checking up on your husband, you're checking up on your boyfriends. That's not chasing anybody. You already have a relationship established, so you have a right to check up on somebody that you think may be less than trustworthy to you, towards you, because you don't have to tolerate that that type of disrespect and you shouldn't tolerate that type of disrespect but I'm talking about women out here who just every time you turn around they just following their man all over and know he's sleeping with um five six seven eight other whores out there you know and I mean just no self-respect at all no dignity no self-respect no nothing I don't understand it I honestly don't understand it you know what my sisters I tell you what I, I don't know about you all but before I put up with a piece of trash I tell you, I would rather be by myself before I pick up, uh, put up with a piece of trash. I'm just saying, I'm not saying I am by myself. I'm just saying I would rather be by myself before I um, put up with trash and people that are inconsiderate and people who just don't see their woman or who they claim to be their woman as a treasure or who they claim to be their wife as a treasure and treat you like a queen as you treat him like your little king. You understand what I'm saying? I say little king because father's the king. <laughs> He's the big king, okay? But I'm just saying, you know, I, I just... And, you know, we know that as women, there are more men out there than, you know, available men out there than women. Meaning, you know, it's like more of us, but it's, it's like it's less good men out there. You know what I'm saying? And they know this and they play on that because they feel like, well, you know what? If it don't work out with you, I already he already got eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven other whores out there that want to get on him. You understand what I'm saying? So he feels like, well, forget you. But you know what? Let me tell you something, my sisters, and then I'm going to close. When you run across those types, let them go on. 
Because for one thing, anybody who has that mentality that, oh, well, you know, if you want to walk, if you want to step, if it doesn't work out, I got other whores out here. Let somebody like that go on. You know why? Because you're not in his heart. You're not in his heart. You understand? If, if somebody can, like, just want to divorce you, they want to, like, break things off with you because they know they got people in the reserves. The reserves mean they were not 100% into you in the first place. You know, and I don't know about you ladies, but 99 and a half should not do for you all. If a man cannot give you his all and bring his all and bring 100% to the table, then he could keep his raggedy 99%. You know, that's just my mentality. I don't know how you ladies feel about it, but, you know, I come from a school of thought, you know, uh, self-respect. Self-respect, and that's priceless right there. It's how you view yourselves. You understand? If you have low self-esteem, there are things that you will tolerate that a woman that has high self-esteem will not tolerate because she knows her value and knows her worth. You understand? And when you know your value and you know your worth, that junk that's, that's out there, you will leave it out there. And you will tell that person, you know what? If you got eight, nine, ten other options, then that's what you need to be with. That's what you need to be with. You understand? Because... When people have backup plans and things like that, that's somebody who already knows there's a possibility that things may not work out with you or that they may get sick of you or you may get sick of them, you know, whichever one of you decided to um, walk away from the marriage or the relationship. So when you're dealing with somebody who does not feel like you are the one and the only one, you know, those are the types that have backups out there. Those are the types that have side chits side dudes, side whores, you know, things of that nature, you know, and they're not the cream of the crop anyway, those types of people with that type of mentality. That is not somebody that is relationship mentality. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you're dealing with a woman tonight, my brothers, or a male, a man, man tonight, my sisters, and they have other options, that is not somebody that is relationship material. And that is the m mentality of uh, a lot of people out there nowadays. They have other options. And you know what I would tell somebody like that? Well, then you need to get to choosing because you definitely won't be standing up in my face. Because I don't know about you all ladies and gentlemen, but when you form these relationships with people, if you are not the one and only, then they need to go on with their options. That's the way I look at it. You understand? Because evidently that is somebody that is not marriage material. They are not relationship material. Okay? And um, that's not somebody that Father God would want you with either. Okay? So um, anyway, that's all I had to say. I just wanted to come to you all with a word of encouragement and to uplift you guys. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, trust and believe. I know for myself there's not too much down here, if anything at all. Because there's a reason why you ladies are out there. You're successful. You have your degrees. You have your houses, your cars. You're independent. But you don't have the husbands that you want. But like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, Father God can only send what he sees down here. He can only send what he sees, okay? And with that said, God bless you all until next time. Bye-bye. Keep your heads up and keep trusting in Jesus Christ. He's coming back. He will right the wrong in this world, okay? Bye-bye.